Guys, so I was talking to Tara today, this morning, and she said, we were talking about quieting the mind, going with the flow, living in the now. And she was wondering, well, what do you follow? Um, what are you looking for? What have you do that? And she has a saying up in her bathroom by Ram Dawes. It says, the quieter you are, the more you will hear. And I had to tell her that when you remove all that thinking that you do, then there is a knowingness that's deep within that you just follow moment to moment. You don't think about it. You don't look for it. It just is. And it has all the answers at all times. And until you go there, you don't know what I'm saying. You, I won't be able to communicate that with you because it is something that you just experience when it happens. And the way that you experience is, is to shut off that mind. And most people have no idea how much the mind is moving at all times. But that's why you go into that meditate, meditative state, shut off your mind. Then you can get into that knowingness that you can just follow. Okay. Now, the second thing that we were talking about, I think, this morning or last night, I can't remember, that seemed to help her was... Um, I gave her an analogy and we were talking about her trying to help somebody who's crying. And I was trying to explain to her that by being compassionate or sympathetic or empathetic, those, all those words have vibrations and they imply somebody that you're, that something that you're, when you're interacting with the other person, you're implying that there's something wrong with their state. The state that they're in so if they're crying for whatever event that's happened and you're compassionate or empathetic or sympathetic or uh, consoling all of those things imply that there's something wrong with the state that's judgment okay now this person that you're interacting with is a creator God creating an experience and she had a, she struggled with that until I used this analogy and I want you to think of Michelangelo, because I was just at the Met, just had a big deal with all of Michelangelo's stuff. I want you to think of Michelangelo laying on his back on that scaffolding doing the Sistine Chap Chapel. That took him a very long time to do it. Most of the time he was uncomfortable. He was tired. He had to interact with people. It was a very difficult, painful struggle for him to get that done. And at the end of it, he came down off the scaffold, removed it all, looked up at the wonder that he had created. But in the moment, as he was doing the creation, there was a lot of pain and struggle involved. Well, that's what people are doing as they create on this planet. So as your friend is crying and upset, they are creating something that may not make sense to you right now, but is something that when they are done, when they've died, and they turn around and look up like Michelangelo did at the Sistine Chapel, they're going to be extremely happy and pleased with their creation, as will everyone else that sees it. Now, that doesn't make any sense to you when you're in the physical body, but maybe the analogy of the artist will help that situation. Okay? Well, there's a couple of quick topics, and I've got a couple I wanted, more that I want to do. So, uh... Huge hugs, and I'll talk to y'all later. Love you bunches. Bye now.